let's solve a question on tension here we have a person who uses a rope to climb a tree and the mass of the person is 70 kilograms find the tension in the rope when the person comes down with an acceleration of 2 meters per second square and we can assume that the rope is massless as always hit pause and try this one on your own first all right hopefully you have given this a shot now in this one we know that the person is coming down with an acceleration of 2 meters per second square so if we draw if we try to model the person with just a point object we know that the acceleration here the acceleration here this is 2 meters per second square and we also know the mass of the person which means we know the weight we can write the weight as we know that weight is this is w equals to mg so this would be 70 into 10 we can take g as 10 this would be 700 newtons so there there will be there will be a force in the downward direction let me draw that again this will be this will be 700 newtons and we are trying to draw the free body diagram of the person because we know the acceleration with which the person is coming down so it's better that we draw the free body diagram of the person we also know the weight we need to figure out the tension in the rope now could the tension be down or could it be up there are two questions that come we know that the person is holding the rope so could the tension be like this let me draw it let me draw it like this should the tension be like this or should it be should it be like this that is a question now it turns out that tension only pulls up the person it can never push down a person and we can try and understand that let's say let's say we have some person here and 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 they're pushing they're or rather they're pulling they're pulling a box they're pulling a box which is kept like this attached to a rope and they are pulling the block towards themselves they're pulling the block towards themselves so now if we try to draw the free body diagram of the rope we know that the rope is definitely experiencing a force from the person which will which is in this direction because the rope is experiencing a pull from this end right the person is pulling the rope at this end and now if you draw the free body diagram of the person according to newton's third law there will be an equal and opposite force to this force right here to this force right here and that will be to the right which is acting on the person this will be the tension force that the rope is exerting on the person so the tension force is always away from away from the object from the from the mass and in this case from the person so it's never really acting down tension can never push down it can only pull up it can only pull pull the object so so we 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 remove this one the tension force really is just the force which is acting in the upward direction and now what we can do is we can use Newton's second law, which is which states that the net force, net force acting on a body, this is equal to MA. So here the net force really is 700 minus T and we are writing 700 minus T because the person is moving down, right? So that means this force 700, it must be more than T. So 700, this is 700 minus T, 700 minus T, this is equal to, this is equal to 70 into acceleration which is 2 70 is a mass so this becomes 140 when we take t to the right hand side this will this will be t this is equal to 700 minus minus 140 and when you work this out t comes out to be equal to 560 newtons so this is this is 560 newtons